please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video also click on that notification bell thank you hey boys and girls in this video we are going to cover the top five relational database management systems that use sql now there are many of them but we are focusing only on the first five ones that are mostly used in the it environment and the very first one is the oracle database it is a relational database product by oracle and its enterprise version was released in 1979 it is a database commonly used for running online transaction processing data warehousing and mixed database workloads oracle is one of the biggest vendor in it market then comes the microsoft sql server which is often referred as ms sql server so ms sql server is a relational database server by microsoft its first version was released in 1988. It is among the most stable, secure, and reliable database solutions out there. It supports wide variety of transaction processing, analytics, and business intelligence applications in corporate IT environments. MS SQL Server competes primarily against Oracle Database and IBM Database DB2. Then, Moving on to our MySQL. A Swedish company called MySQL AB originally developed MySQL in 1994. It's a community developed open source and its first version was released in 1995. The US tech company Sun Microsystem took full ownership when they bought MySQL AB in 2008, and I believe they paid almost like $1 billion to purchase that company. Then the US tech giant Oracle in 2019, sorry, 2009 acquired Sun Microsystem itself, and MySQL has been practically owned by Oracle since. Even though MySQL is an open soft software, open source software, sorry, you could go on the website and download and install free, but you can buy a commercial licensed version from Oracle to get a premium support services for it. The main advantages of MySQL are that it is easy to use, inexpensive, reliable, has been around since 1995, and has a large community of developers who can help answer your questions if you do not want to get the support from Oracle. Then comes the PostgreSQL. It's a community developed open source as well, and its first version was released in 1987. It was originally named as Postgres, referring to its origin as the successor to the Ingress de database developed at the University of California, Berkeley. In 1996, the project was renamed to Postgres SQL to reflect its support for SQL or SQL. After a review in 2007, the development team decided to keep the name PostgreSQL. Then comes the last one, Maria Database or MariaDB. Community developed open source as well and its first version was released in 2009. Development is led by the same original developers, a Swedish developer of MSQL who forked it due to the concern over its acquisition by Oracle Corporation in 2009. Maria DB is named after Monty's younger daughter, Maria. And by the way, Monty was the first person who first developed the MySQL in Sweden. Now, in this course, our focus will be on Microsoft SQL Server or MS SQL Server. 